Right, it was around 1030 this morning, Tiffany, on this third day of deliberations that jurors sent the judge a note and said they could not reach a unanimous decision on whether or not Sergeant Michael Custer used excessive force when he shot and killed Seth Adams in 2012. The jury said, however, they had reached a unanimous decision on whether or not Custer destroyed or lost his cell phone. But then about 10 minutes later, they sent a third note back and said someone had changed their minds and they no longer agreed on the cell phone issue either. So the judge read them what is known as the Allen charge. It's a, pre, a prepared statement where he tells the jurors while he appreciates their time and effort, he really needs them to go back and try again, reminding the jurors that this four week long trial has caused enormous amounts of stress, money, time, and emotional distress to be spent by both parties. And if they can't reach a decision, well, the case remains open and another trial is likely to be had and another jury that probably wouldn't be any better at this than they are would have to go through all of the evidence again. So finally, the judge says, okay, I'll ask you one more thing. If a majority of you are leaning one way and there's just one or two lone holdouts, I'd ask those holdouts to go back and re-examine your opinions because perhaps they're not reasonable. If everybody else in the jury heard the same evidence you did and they all think the other thing. Of course, they don't want anybody to go against their true strong beliefs. Two of the jurors have to leave town on Monday, so they've got today and tomorrow to come up with a decision or else this will be a hung jury in the case of Seth Adams. We'll let you know. We'll bring it to you as soon as it happens. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News. Terry.